that's become familiar to card fans with Clark and James White, Huntley Hatfield that Corey mentioned, and there's Tyler Johnson, the freshman from Brooklyn with the ball to get us started here in D.C. Huntley Hatfield, a kick out for Clark's three. Scott Clark, 41st three of the year, starts our score. Michael O'Connor, the transfer from Stanford, runs NC State's offense. Here's our first matchup with Burns and Huntley Hatfield. DJ reverses to the baseline and scores. Back to Johnson against Diara. Oh, Tyler through traffic. Wolfpack with Morcell. Here's James. Sky Clark. And now James attacks on the dribble. Huntley Hatfield off the baseline. Got to be encouraging when you see your team approach a game like that early, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're off to a great start. And, you know, State's got an answer. O'Connell a three. And they do. Michael O'Connell, almost as if he heard Coach O'Connell. Wants the ball in his hand, and he kind of ignites whatever Louisville's offensive set is going to be, it feels like. He absolutely does. He's a facilitator, 108 assists on the year. However, this time he goes to get a bucket. And then Tyler Johnson going with the little reverse. Some ink. These, these don't look like two teams that have been struggling. Jaden Taylor, who's been terrific. Pitt in the regular season finale on Saturday night. He's been 20 or more in three of his last four for the Wolfpack. Clark through traffic, and he scores. That's a tough finish. Scott Clark. Sky Clark with the tough finish, attacking DJ Burns, and still the concentration to get that. come out for the rest. That's not, that's not good. Give away by the Wolfpack. Here's Huntley Hatfield. Back to Trey White in traffic, who scores. Come in with an inspired effort like this into the ACC tournament where you basically starting a new season. That's got to make you feel good about your preparation, correct? Yeah, it's 100 percent. I mean, they want they're doing everything right. And there, there's no reason for that to happen. Points for Scott Clark already five of five from the field, two of two from beyond the off. Seven points for Clark on the dunk. Louisville's hit six of their first seven and they can't collect it there. It'll stay. Middlebrooks. Quick pass. Diara rolled in. Yes. That's still an assist though, right? This yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. yeah, I knew you would agree with well, that. Well, Coach and sure. I both were point guards. <laughs> so they're knocking down the three. So this point has been they haven't been able to get stops against the car. Clark. And the jump shot good. Boy, Scott Clark's got nine. Terrific play. Here's O'Connell. Kick back for Morcell's three. Nope. Casey Morcell unable to get it to go. And, of course, a little more pressure on Casey playing in front of about 25 friends and family. No pressure at all on Scott Clark. But, Coach, you've been in a scenario before where your team hasn't had the best season. But when you go into the tournament, what are you telling your guys? Are you talking to them about a fresh start? Juggles it and runs it down. Against Cam Woods, who's going to get some action today with Horns. And ability to go, and Kyle Clark is on fire. That's 15 in the first half. Easy bucket early. And for guys who shoot and play with a lot of rhythm, that always helps. Three ball away, and oh. that's good. Breon pass. Now that's the traditional look from Breon pass. God, he caught it and had an easy one. Taylor had it blocked on the perimeter by Johnson. Clark's early start here offensively, guys, seemed to have fueled the whole Louisville team as Tyler scores at the rim. Knighted it, however. Scott Clark has kept the fire going. Morcell into traffic. Reroutes on Huntley Hatfield and Casey Morcell's on the board. Yeah, he got closer to the basket. He's got to try to get there instead of taking threes. Lob by Johnson. Oh, it wasn't a lob. It was a kiss. Here's Michael O'Connell on the drive, and the floater good. Lord, Tyler Johnson here gets Morcell. Casey defends it well, Corey. And Woods is going to stay on the floor. He and pass, and a look at O'Connell now. Fishes out the pass. He'll take it down and score. Here's Louisville on the turn. Johnson. Bounce pass, thrown away. Tried to go to Huntley Hatfield. Taylor has made some terrific defensive stops for State. And at the other end, Woods threw it up there, and it dropped in. Started getting the job done defensively. And then you see Cam Woods using every. Well, I can tell you this. Cam Woods now has 15 points on the season. 
Nine of those came in his debut. Yeah. Tough shot. Trey White, coach, for the screen. O'Connell. Back for, for Middle Brooks and Michael O'Connell. Going to pick up his scoring is one of the guys who's part of that starting backcourt for the Wolfpack. And took it away from Clark. Look away. Morsell, the catch, and the finish. Trying to find the angle, and then defensively, O'Connell coming up with the steal. The kick ahead pass, I won't call it quite. Toughest call. That's one of the toughest calls in basketball. But, Coach, as you've been in this game, which is seemingly forever, you've seen how much different it is for to be able to get a charge. I mean, now in comparison to before. Huntley Hatfield against Diara. Backs him all the way down, and the short fall away rolls in. Yeah, just the junior from Clarksville, Tennessee. Originally started his career in Knoxville. Second year with Louisville. Here goes Taylor into traffic. Oh, nice move around Williams and the layup for Jaden Taylor. I hear you. <laughs> Scott Clark. See him circling the loose line. Meanwhile, here's Taylor, the steal, and the dunk. Ninth turnover by the Cardinals. And turnovers that lead to buckets. James in traffic, and he'll score. Normally, when you see a guy have success, they're looking to be ultra-aggressive early. That hasn't been the case for James. O'Connell! But it has been for Michael O'Connell. not playing, and they're going to come out here and do something about him. That's, that's pretty good to see. Huntley Hatfield trying to beat Piara. Scores and puts Louisville back in front. WD, he comes in averaging 17 points and nine rebounds over his last 10 games, so he's been playing the best basketball of his career as of late. I agree. Marcel, hard shot, and he scores. Here goes Scott Clark trying to make his own money. Huntley Hatfield out of the corner, and it drops in for three. Middlebrooks. Burns has been in foul trouble since about the 12 and a half minute mark. Ben inside the scoop and score with the left hand. Scott Clark's been terrific. He's got 18 in this first half. And he'll take the last shot. Off balance three, and that'll do it. Teams will go to the locker room. DJ Burns, Michael O'Connell. No DJ Horn today for the Wolfpack. Here is Burns right away with a left hand, and he gets the roll. The Hall of Famer wants yeah. it going back inside the third. To 30. Yep. Another one. That was close to another charge. Morcell. Morcell knocks down the three. He's got 13 now. Holly Hatfield taking it right at Burns with the two fouls, and Brandon scores. See, and that's the difference. If I out front, here's Diara. Now Burns again. Got Huntley Hatfield in the air, and he'll get the one. Both hands. He's just too good down low. It's almost a continuation. Good yeah. job by Scott Clark touching the paint, though. Maybe he was a little too unselfish on that one himself. Morcell falling to the ground, lost his balance, and Middlebrooks cleans it up. Okay. I highly doubt that. Yeah, getting ready to say. Here's James turning and scoring. Mike James, second field goal. He's got six. Put him with Danny Cannell. But that's What's his right. uncle? That's a, I thought that might be applicable, you know. Here's Clark on the drop. This game might be watching. Saved off the Middlebrook's block. Oh, and then the collision, and Clark was scooping score. Been able to get anything going so far on this one offensively. Clark tried to wrap it back to Glenn and turns it over. More sell the other way off the Louisville turnover, and Diara. <laughs> During that one. Here's Williams at the front, and Curtis Williams drops down the two. 1965 against Florida State. That was not a conference game for those of you just joining. And no, no uh, three-point line for those 49 either, WD. Okay. And Curtis Williams finds a three-point line. We that's why, that's, get that's exactly why we said it. Then you got 46, so, and, and I took the ball out of bounds every time and gave it Watching, to him. and he better show up in this game. Huntley Hatfield against Middlebrooks, 10 to shoot, seven-point game. Brandon trying to squeeze the trigger and does. I, I'll go right back to it with Huntley Hatfield. I'm not sure why he gives the basketball up. Force DJ Burns to have to guard him. That's what you do when you lose a, a key guy. Other guys have to step up, and you can do that over one game. It's hard to do it every game. Here's Middlebrooks fighting through, blocked by Huntley Hatfield. State playing the old Southern Conference at Thompson Gym. He was a legend, a legend, he was a luminary, 
He was a trusted friend and mentor to so many who have covered this event for so many years, and he'll be sorely missed. And you know I'm one of the voices of the ACC. Yeah. Can you imagine how many guys are hitting me up right now because they're not on the graphic? <laughs> Sky Clark on the steal and the layup. Against Breon Pass. Sky, all oh, to the cutting nice. way. Great cut by White to get to the open spot. Not standing on the three-point line. Great job by Tyler recognizing Breon Pass trying to sneak up and get that steal. Skip for Clark. Three ball. They've got about five guards in there, don't they? Taylor's got ten. Louisville trailing three. Clark for the tie. Oh. Yeah, they've just got to. They've got to find a way to get a couple stops, and it's going to be here. A double team on Burns. That's probably a good move. Taylor three. There you go. Work. How about that? Because that's what we talked about yeah. before. Skip for Johnson. All the way through, up off the glass. Tyler Johnson with eight. Crafty play by Tyler to Burns. Double team coming. That's Glenn and Johnson on the big man. Taylor launching again, and it rattles in. Hutley Hatfield playing with the four fouls. Eight to shoot for Williams. Skip for Clark and a three ball. Unbelievable. 33 for Clark. Look at Milt Wagner's mark today. But was that the Metro Conference tournament? It was in 86, yep. There goes Clark, missed the layup. White tried to follow first, and now the second time the charge. Raleigh. To Adrian Autry's team. By the way, snaps the streak at 14 in a row. After O'Connell missed the back end, White the scoop. O'Connell the rebound with 35 seconds left. And a pitch ahead here is Taylor and the layup. Rodney Monroe is from Hagerstown. <laughs> I went there. That's another guy I went to go see. Williams misses the three. NC State will move on to play the Orange. And Louisville season comes to a close.